back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another brand new WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Elite Series 89 Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre. I don't know why I felt like these guys would, should be the first two to review. I kind of felt like, you know, they're the biggest names. You know, Damian Priest and the rest of the wave are very good, but I felt like we should start off with, you know, not only two former world champions, two former WWE champions, and I felt like this was a pretty good two-in-one here, guys. We have Elite 89 Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre. Very excited to get into it. You guys can see the brand new packaging, and you guys can kind of see why people are annoyed with this packaging. Like, look at the logo kind of coming down in Bobby's face a little bit there. So I can see where they, they may have, like, been able to shrunk this down a little bit, but it's not the biggest deal. I still dig the packaging. I don't know why I expected the box to be a different color than the top picks, but we still have the blue and red, which looks really good. WWE logo, you got the front viewing windows there, guys. If you would like to pick up Elite Series 89 or any brand new WWE, AEW, or any other wrestling action figure accessories. Go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Always appreciate you guys using the code. It means an absolute ton to me, and you guys are awesome for using that. But here we go, man. Two of the better figures in the set, probably, at least at face value, just looking at them. You guys can see the nice little sports lithic font down there. Great viewing window. On the side of the packaging, you get an image of them there. I think these would look great on a shelf next to each other with the way they're displaying this. On the back, you do have a little bio read of both. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave, a great image of both the men there. Other side, it does have their names sideways. You've got the Truefex logo. You've got the certified authentic sticker actually on the side now instead of big and bulky on the front, which a lot of people appreciated. But that pretty much wraps up the packaging for Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley, man. So with that being said, let's crack them open and find out how damn good they are. Alright guys, here's Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre out of the packaging, and damn, Brad, this is good football, man. This is really good football. I'm enjoying these very much so far out of the packaging. I'm enjoying posing them around. It's really good stuff. Like, can't, can't recommend them enough already, honestly. Like, uh, just really good stuff. Can't wait to see where we come in at the ranking, of course. But, what we're gonna do first, guys, is take a closer look at Bobby Lashley's accessories, and then Bobby Lashley, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Drew McIntyre's accessories and Drew McIntyre. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into Mr. Hurt Business himself. So for Bobby Lashley's accessories, man, you're probably wondering, MDT, why the hell are these figures here? Well, Brad, it's because uh, this is all he comes with. He doesn't come with interchangeable hands. At least I couldn't find any. I didn't see any interchangeable hands in the packaging. I, you know, I went back and looked. I don't think he comes with any interchangeable hands, which is kind of insane, really, when you think about it, when you truly sit back and think about it. I mean, you could go back and look at the mock images, man. You could just see the segment right before this. This is all he comes with, a nice WWE championship, and that is it. We've seen this a lot of times, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, WWE title, and that is it for your Bobbeth Lashley. And then getting into Bobby Lashley himself, man, starting out with the head sculpt, I really like the shape of it. I just think that it's off because he's looking slightly to the right. Why is he looking to the right? Now, when I do it, like, say Bobby Lashley wanted to cut a sick-ass promo or something like that on MDT Live, I'm gonna have to angle it like some weird thing just to get him to look. And look, he's still kind of looking off there, but I like the pissed-off expression. I've been waiting on a heel slash pissed-off Lashley for a while. We got one with Jax. This one looks okay. I like the, you know, I think the the, the facial, you know, I think the likeness is there. I don't have any problems with that, but he's looking off to the right, and that really bothers me. I wish he was looking straight ahead. I might repaint the eyes, but I don't want to mess them up. I don't know what I'll do, but I do like the head sculpt. I just wish it wasn't looking off to the right. The likeness is very nice, though. Great torso choice for Bobby Lashley. He's absolutely massive and jacked. Same thing for the arms and the shoulders. I love the, like, new shoulders that we're getting here. He does have double-jointed arms, which are freaking beautiful. I, I That'll never get old. They are pinless, so I don't think you could switch anything off if you wanted to. He does have one right elbow pad there, and then he has the black hand tape. Going down into the tights, he does have the Hurt Business tights, which is pretty much the update here for the Lashley. They did just get back together, so that's nice. You have the black and gold here, which is coming across more bronze in person, but on camera, it looks a little bit more yellowy gold. Hurt Business logo there, which is nice. You have the Lashley logo over here. No knee pads or anything. I think it would be really cool to see a Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander in Hurt Business gear, but this is a really sick piece too, man. They finally gave us new sculpted boots with all the straps. These are accurate boots to Bobby Lashley. He's got like all the different straps going on with the white on the sides. You can put these on Batista. You can put these on Ziggler. I mean, you got some good options here, man. Hopefully they continue with this mold on different figures, but damn, I like these a lot. It's it's finally time we got some actual sculpted boots that are uh, the ones that he wears, so that is freaking awesome, but that pretty much wraps up Bobby Lashley, man. Love the figure. I think it's great. It feels really good in the hand. It has great posability. It is on ball joints. His first figure was on ball joints, so this Bobby Lashley kicks all 
the ass. And for your Bobby Lashley comparisons, guys, here is the new Elite 89, and then I have a, a few versions of the Elite 69, right? I have this custom fix-up here with, like, the white boots, which are similar to the ones he's wearing here, just kind of a fix-up attire. You have my uh, other, like, biker trunks fix-up here with the Batista boots, which I really love, and then you have the stock version of Elite 69 Lashley. You guys can see the different changes we made, but all in all, man, really enjoy the Bobby Lashley's. I think the last head sculpt was really good. His last figure was damn good, man. Elite Series 69, arguably the best set ever, and here he is a part of Elite 89, 20 series later, and uh, the wave is, I don't know if it's just as good, but it's damn good too, so really good wave. Both times Bobby Lashley's been featured, so anytime there's a main Elite line Bobby Lashley, the whole set's probably gonna melt the faces off, but uh, you guys can see the differences there. This does have single jointed arms. I might add some knee pads to this guy just because I like the look better than the no knee pads, but I'm enjoying the Lashley, man. I just wish he wasn't looking off to the right. Dead gum. Alright guys, so for Drew McIntyre's accessories, he comes with a lot. I think they took all of Bobby Lashley's, like, accessory money and gave it to Drew McIntyre. So starting out first, guys, we do have his signature kilt here, and it does have the nice Scottish flags on there, or the Scottish kind of plaid looking colors there. He has this chain metal thing coming down the front. It is just sculpted on, but it is a nice piece. It does clasp in the back. It's got a little baggie on the back or a pouch right there, which is really cool. You guys saw it on the figure already, which is really nice. I think it's cool. You know, it's not cloth, but I don't think it has to be. I think it gets the job done. We also have his entrance sword, which is really sick. And taking a closer look here, you guys can see like all the different sculpts on the handle and stuff like that. You got the brown handle, you got the silver going on, gold details as well as you guys can see. It's not like sharp or anything like that. Like, I mean, if you really tried maybe, but it's not that sharp, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. Really nice sword accessory, man, and he holds it pretty good as well. You know, you just gotta squeeze it in between the hand there, or you can just push it all the way through. So there's the hand holding the sword. So it does hold the sword really, really nicely, which you love to see. Outside of that, guys, he does come with interchangeable mic holding hands, which are beautiful. He also comes with Claymore hands, or you, you guys know, sitting on the throne, slash, slapping the leg for the Claymore, all those different things, or even the pose on the turnbuckle. And then he also has these gauntlets with the, with the silver little uh, plates on there, which is really nice. And all you gotta do is take his arm and just, you know, push it on there like a Roman Reigns gauntlet, which is really cool. So this, this Drew McIntyre is all the kinds of fire, man. All the accessories he comes with and stuff. I think this is, uh, this is just phenomenal. Great entrance gear, and it makes it not for a, you know, Drew McIntyre usually doesn't come with anything, so to see him come with all the, this entrance gear and all this different stuff is really sweet. Alright guys, so taking a closer look at Drew McIntyre at the head sculpt. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I thought this head sculpt looked way better in the promo pics. I don't know what's off about mine. It just kinda is missing some likeness. Like, it kinda looks Kevin Nashy. And it has like a, I don't know, am I, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think this is the best head sculpt they've made. I did when I saw the uh, the render image, and I did when I saw the in-package image, like the promo images that we took a look at the other day on the channel. I thought that this figure looked a lot better in the face, but I am not getting that right here. I think that he has other better head sculpts as far as likeness, but I want to like this head sculpt. I don't hate this head sculpt, but I think that his other head sculpts are more superior, I think. At least that's what I'm getting right here. Let me know down in the comment section below. I just, I, or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it's just my eyes throwing me off because it's late. I don't know. Head sculpt still looks good regardless. You do have a nice haircut there. I like the way it falls down there. You got the big chesticles. A lot of people don't like this for Drew McIntyre. I don't mind it. I think it can work either way, you know, if you want to get more accurate, more detailed. Because if you look at this right here, this, uh, I mean, I guess it adds up. It's more of a chiseled look than this. And the chest is pretty prominent too. I don't know. I see both sides of it. But the double jointed arms look really good. You know, they're jacked. You got the black wrist tape. You have his updated plaid slash Scottish flag type deal going on on the trunks. The little silver buttons going around. Nothing on the back, which is kind of plain Jane, but that's kind of how these trunks are, man. I mean, what do you want? This is like an updated Drew McIntyre. You have the giant legs. You got the same, you know, Drew McIntyre logos on the knee pads with the blue and the shield and the sword there. And then you have standard black boots. You guys know how Drew McIntyre rolls. You know, he's not about the flashy gear. He's more about business in the ring, but uh, I got a little messed up right here. I don't know about all that, but the Drew looks solid. I like the way the Drew McIntyre came out. I think he's a really good figure. I just feel like the head may be off a little bit, man. I, I don't know what that is, but let's take a closer look at some Drew McIntyre figure comparisons. So for your Drew McIntyre figure comparisons, guys, here is the new Elite 89 in the middle. You have the Elite 83. I don't remember what set this is from. It's like totally skipping my brain. Is it the Survivor Series Elite, I think? We also have the NXT figure, or maybe, no, I think this is the NXT Elite. Also, one of them's the Elite 70, I think, or maybe I'm missing one here in the bunch. I don't freaking remember. My mind's tripping ball sack right now. However, you guys can see they're all virtually the same. 
this one does have updated. I do like the skin tone of these three over the, the paler skin tone. I really dig the update and skin tone. The head sculpts look great. You have three different ones, a smiley, a piss, and then kind of a mutual. It could probably go either way. But I think this head sculpt is still his best. Like as far as like a pissed off Drew, I feel like that looks better. But the smiley one looks good too. So I don't know, man. You guys can let me know what you think down below. Really dig Drew McIntyre though. Big fan. You got black wrist tape, black boots, black knee pads. That's what he does, right? That's how he rolls. But you guys can let me know what your favorite Drew is down below. I mean, I feel like I have to go with this one because you have double jointed arms and that, that pretty much seals the deal for me at least, Brad. But uh, that does it for your Drew McIntyre figure comparisons. And I'm also noticing the shoulders, man. These updated shoulders with like sculpted muscle tone are way better than the balls that we used to get. It's kind of crazy how long we had the balls compared to the updates in the, uh, you know, the sculpt. And if you guys wanted to see what the Hurt Business all looks like up next to each other, here is Bobby MVP, Cedric Alexander, and Shelton Benjamin. All four look great up next to each other. The only gripe is that Cedric Alexander is in purple and black and the rest are in black and gold. So that would be really cool to see an updated uh, Cedric Alexander in long tights and uh, give him the ripped torso. That would be nice too. Doubt we see that, but who knows, man. You never know. They did just get back together, so maybe we can get that very soon and we will have to see about that, man. But I like the way that all the Hurt Business looks up next to each other. Absolutely fantastic. Just need updates of Shelton and Cedric, but, you know, he's in black and gold. You could just roll with this Shelton, but uh, I think updates of both to give him double jointed arms and stuff would be a very nice touch. But anyways, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Elite 89 review of Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre. Had a ton of fun reviewing these guys. I think they look really great. The double jointed arms, man, just game changer. I know that they're still fresh on my mind. They're still being implemented into the WWE Elite line, so it's hard to not mention them every single time, and I think people will agree, man. It's just a change in pace. It's so beautiful to see. Bobby Lashley looks incredible. Drew McIntyre looks incredible. Again, if you guys would like to grab either of these, great opportunity to do so. Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre are actually some of those guys that their figures, when they first came out, like it seemed like a lot of people slept on them, and then they just went outrageous in price, man. And these are the best versions of them. They're updated. You could currently book these guys right now, because the Hurt Business is going on. Drew McIntyre still got his shtick going on. Double jointed arms, great head sculpts, great details. This is the ones to grab, man. So Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Absolutely get these. I know a lot of people missed out on Elite 69 Lashley. This is a better figure. It's heel. It's beautiful. It's Hurt Business. WWE Championship. Drew McIntyre. It is very damn nice as well, man. So you definitely got to go ahead, get your money's worth, man, and get in on that. But that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching the 2-in-1 reviews. I think I have three uploads today, so stay tuned for that. We also have a 2-in-1 Elite review going on tomorrow. And if you guys didn't know, for the month of October, I'm trying to upload not one, but two videos every day. A WWE figure video and a horror vid video mixed in possibly with WWE, depending on the video. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like uh, when they didn't give Bobby Lashley any interchangeable hands whatsoever. You crossed the line.